Two-time U.S. Open champion Naomi Osaka was back at the Open today, but not as a player. She joined another champion for a panel on mental health and sports. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer was there. Sorry. Thank you, everyone. When Naomi Osaka stepped back, she okay. stepped up for fellow athletes. I think I'm going to take a break from playing for a while. For me, coming back here, it, it means a lot. Um, this room in particular, there were some tears shed a lot. She's not playing this year, but she is at the U.S. Open for discussion on mental health alongside fellow advocates, Olympian Michael Phelps and Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy. If we just can approach our lives uh, and other people with a little bit more grace and forgiveness, extend the kind of support that they need, recognizing that a lot of people are suffering in silence, I think we can make big steps forward in terms of improving mental health and well-being and shifting the culture to be more open about it as well. Osaka and Phelps are part of a growing segment of athletes who have reframed the narrative of the unflappable competitor and replaced it with the more human figure, not immune to anxiety. It's just getting things out, right? For me, it's always trying to get things out in the open because the more you're carrying it, the, the, the heavier that backpack gets on your back. Every person is unique in this world, and that's something that no one can take away, and you just, I don't want to be corny, but like, you just got to appreciate that and know that you're special, and I don't think people say that enough. Osaka started a conversation that extended beyond tennis, beyond the sports arena, all the way to our daily lives, that prioritizing mental health is not just okay, but necessary. In Flushing Meadows, Steve Obermeyer, CBS 2 News. If you or someone you know is struggling, there is always help available. You can dial 988 to call or text the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Trained counselors are available 24-7.